Leave no one behind is not just a slogan. It is a value statement. And it is the value that will guide me as your next governor. Democrat Wes Moore became Maryland's first black governor and just the third elected black governor in U.S. history. There was a Democratic sweep of statewide offices. Moore will be working alongside Aruna Miller, his lieutenant governor, who is the first immigrant elected to statewide office in Maryland, Brooke Learman, the state's first woman comptroller, and Representative Anthony Brown, who is the state's first black attorney general. With these wins, black leaders hold four top offices, including state treasurer and house speaker in Annapolis. On the county level, Maryland is unique. In Prince George's County, black women hold the majority of power in the region, with the county executive, fire chief, superintendent of schools, and state's attorney, all being black women. And the elected leaders reflect the larger population. In recent years, black populations saw significant gains in Anne Arundel, Montgomery, Howard, and Charles counties. Yet despite the state becoming more diverse, a black candidate was never elected to the highest office in Maryland. As African-American elected leaders, uh, we have a unique, uh, if not dual responsibility. We understand that uh, we have to represent and fight for and govern uh, on behalf of all Marylanders. But we have a unique responsibility to the African-American community. You were the partisan boss. Brown previously was the Democratic nominee for governor in 2014, but lost to Republican Larry Hogan. Moore is a Rhodes Scholar, best-selling author and combat veteran who's running on a platform that centered around eliminating racial wealth disparities. I think the history of the state can't be forgotten in all this. So this is the home of, of Frederick Douglass and Harriet Tubman. You know, this is the home of some of the, you know, leading pathways for the Underground Railroad that, you know, the, the you, know, you know, Port of Annapolis was one of the largest slave ports. You can't forget the fact that this is the home of, of redlining. Um, but I think that one thing we've seen for, as a state, is that the state is ready to move forward and understand that the issues that are impacting some are really impacting all. He was endorsed by Oprah Winfrey and President Biden. West is a real deal.